Okay, Bolo Buddies, I have a Valentine's Bolo category video for you guys. Wait until you see these amazing be on the lookouts in the Valentine's Day category. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. reseller all right let's get started and i have a whole um whole bunch of bolo category videos i just have not done one for a while so definitely go check out that playlist it is just like tons of great info like there's bathroom bolos there's um kitchen bolos garage bolos board games new old stock made in japan I mean, I've got bolo category videos like crazy, and they're awesome. Halloween, Christmas, gosh, made in Japan. I really like made in Japan. Okay, let's get on to the first bolo here. The first item, and we have talked about this often in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Um, these Rushton, Rushton rubber face um, teddy bear plush toys. They're not always bears. Look at this thing. This thing is in mint condition. It almost doesn't even look like it's vintage. It looks like a repop. It's so, it's in such nice condition. Look at it. And they, I have to admit, they are super, super cute. Super cute. Um, 17 bids, you guys, $1,125 this went for. Um, it did have free shipping, but it says great condition, missing bow and arrow and tag. So a lot of you guys will say, oh, you guys, that's money laundering or that's running the bid up. You know, I, I get that a lot. But I will tell you, when I do these types of videos, what I do is I go in and I will look at the bid history and you will see that, yeah, there's somebody that only has five feedback, but hey, you guys, five is, you know, that's still five. Um, but look right here, when it was at $1,100, it had, this person has 6,192 feedback. So you better believe that that person's more than likely going to pay for the item. It's probably not going to be a non-paying buyer. Um, there's seven unique bidders with 17 bids. So if you click show automatic bids, it's going to show you the bids that came in automatically like the person said that their maximum bid was this price okay so um it ended up selling to a person with 54 feedback for one thousand one hundred and twenty five dollars now another thing you can do that i did not do i'm going to show you here um i'm going to go into this person and i'm going to go to their feedback and e eBay has this new thing where you can search feedback received as seller, okay? So I'm just gonna try this. Sometimes people don't leave feedback because they don't want it shown. See, this one doesn't have it. Uh, I spell Rushton right? Let me make sure. Rushton, yeah. So there's no feedback on this one, but that is another place that you can, let me see. Yeah, you can only do it received as. I'm going to see if it showed up. But you can type in different things in this box and search it for feedback. But again, people that want to remain anonymous will a lot of times not leave feedback. And then also a lot of times people just don't leave feedback. So that's one way to check. And obviously I didn't check beforehand because I just showed you. Okay, so Strange Love times Nike SB Dunk Low Valentine's Day. I don't know, but these shoes went for $654. I'm sorry, $650 with 24 bids. Now, this one, 21, 7, 48, 88, 466. So I'm looking at this, and this person had $466. So I'm guessing it would have been paid for at $500. So um, to me, I felt like this was worthy of showing you. Now, another reason that I also felt like this was worthy of showing you is because I saw a bunch of comparables when I was looking through this category. Like this says brand new lowest price, 950. I, 
I'm really not sure what the deal is on these shoes, but if you see something that looks like it, I guess, um, let me see, view original item. Let me see if I can get back into the listing I had open. I, I don't know why they're so special, honestly, but this is what they look like. And that's what they went for, $650. So somebody did tell me that a lot of people are using um, their keyword spamming and it's not the actual item. So be careful, but uh, I don't know a lot about it. So just FYI, I guess look for these and then check them, look them up. The next item. Okay, so this was, I believe, is that the same as this one? Let's look here. I think it's close. So this is, let's look at this one. Maybe I'll get back to it. Is that the same one? I think it is, but look how much this can, the condition of this one is not as good. So condition does matter, but this one still went for $510 with 17 bids. So pretty, pretty cool. Those uh, rubber face plush, definitely, if you see a rushed in, grab it and rush on out of there. I've got good jokes tonight, guys. Look out. <laughs> Next one. Um, lot of hundred stickers. Okay. So this is a mixed lot of, it looks like new old stock stickers. And I do have a Bolo category video on stickers. I'm looking at this and these don't look that old. I have no idea why. Well, I guess there's 500 packs. So if you're looking at 500 packs, that's about a buck a piece. I guess, you know, probably not, not too bad. Some of these can go for like two or three bucks each. So this is probably just somebody who legitimately loves stickers and were willing to pay a dollar a pack. Um, it only had one bid. I think I went in and looked at this one. I usually do if they have one bid. Yeah, and it has 817 feedback. So I'm like, you know, it's that's what I do. I price my auctions at the minimum I'm willing to take. I feel out the market. If it doesn't sell, I put it on buy it now or best offer. So my auctions, you will not see me do a 99 cent auction. You will not see me do a $9.99 auction if I think the item's worth $100. I will start it at $99.99 and hope for a bidding war. And if not, then I just buy it now or best offer. The next item is this um, Victorian postcard album, which is fantastic. Now this one does have Christmas, Valentine's Day, Halloween. Halloween postcards can also be a bolo. Um, definitely go check out my Christmas bolo video and my Halloween category video. Just awesome, awesome things to look for. But this is super, super neat. The um, album is fantastic. It looks to be in excellent condition. And this sold for $450, you guys. But each one of these postcards, I mean, could be a bolo itself, depending on the postcard. Um, those are actually pictures, black and white pictures. This Halloween, the Halloween ones can go for big money. Um, I'm not an expert on postcards, but there are people that exclusively sell postcards. And that is it in their stores. It's amazing. But $450 on that one. Okay, the next item, Vintage Valentine's Day. This is a huge lot of 200 cards, die cut, mechanical, standing. So it's just an amazing mixed lot. This is another thing that some stores specialize in and they will sell these individually in their store. So this could be a reseller buying this to resell. I mean, they could get 10, 15, 20 bucks per card if it's the right card. And the mechanical ones, they move. They're super, super neat. Um, die cut means they're cut out into a shape if you don't know what that means. Like here's um, a little, oh, that is so cool. I mean, that might be a 15, 20, 30, I don't know. Some of them can go for big money card. So a, a reseller potentially could be buying this. Super, super neat. But for this person, they're like, I don't want to list them separately. I'm going to sell them all and I'm going to move it. I'm going to get rid of it. And they made $305. They might have got these at a garage sale and estate sale. Super, super cheap. The next item, I don't know what this is, but it says Nora Fleming Retired Mini Valentine XO. 
does anybody have any idea what this is? I scrolled down. It says only used once. Um, I don't know if it goes like on the side of a plate. Let's see if it tells us. Yeah, platters. So I, I think it's just like a plate, like decor for a plate. It sold for $280 plus shipping. I have no clue, but definitely be on the lookout for Nora Fleming XO Valentine. The next item is, okay, so this one I want to dig a little deeper into. Victorian antique 1800s rare handmade beehive cobweb Valentine card. Somebody who is knowledgeable about this stuff, please tell me what beehive cobweb means. What? I mean, is it made out of like a beehive? Cobwebs? Like, I don't understand. So I'm just going to kind of show you. I mean, it's definitely interesting. I don't know. So, um, am I I'm scrolled in too far? Okay. So, uh, let's see what it says down here. We were fortunate enough to acquire a collection of early 19th to 20th century Valentine's card at an estate auction. These are accumulated by an advanced collector, and most of these Valentines had notes about type, maker, age, etc. Obviously, the collector had extensive knowledge on the subjects, which we do not. Our titles re reflect the information provided by the previous we are not experts so we hope that you can use the photos to adequately evaluate the veracity of this title as well veracity is that uh, that's above my head of this title as well as condition okay so um let's see 258 dollars now there's only two bids but check this out that one's private, but that one has 1983, 1,983. Okay, so I want to do this, and I want to go to Sellers Other Items because you're going to see they have a whole bunch of these cards. Let's go to their solds. And I'm going to go to Highest First. So... I was going to see if there were any. There's another card, $315, 255 So these must be something that people collect, 221 Best offer on that one, so I don't know. But yeah, how cool is that? I definitely would have picked it up. Okay, so these buyer's choice carolers. Now I have seen the Christmas carolers, but I have never seen the Valentine's carolers. So I guess they have Valentine's Day carolers. The one bid on this 2050 with 37 bids in the buyer paid shipping. Okay. I have no idea why this one popped up under Valentine's because I was searching Valentine's Day or Valentine and I don't know, but it, I thought it was cool. So I'm like, I'm just going to share it. It's Winkin, Blinkin, and Nod. <laughs> They're super cute, but I don't think they have anything to do with Valentine's Day. But I thought I would share it. Uh, it sold for $225, one bid. Um, the buyer had 9,099 feedback. So let's check this one. Let's see if, um, let's go into the seller's feedback. And I'm going to type in. Lincoln. You know that pe person paid. Yeah. See? Yep. There's your feedback. So that's one one indicator that the person paid. Great all right. Fast, packed well. So that's one way to check if you guys are ever wondering. And again, it's not foolproof because a lot of people like to remain anonymous or um, forget or don't want to leave feedback. All right. So here's a, um, another one of those cards. And it was talking about, um, you can see right here, it tells on the book. Compare corners to rock border, early cobweb, I'm not sure what that says, patent dated 1820. Wow. Same paper as something, I don't know, but definitely very, very cool. Next item is this rare 
Henri's on on Rye. I don't know. Sarah K. Valentine tea set by Ruder Porcelain Complete Set. You know, I do these videos and I really feel like I'm really bad at pronouncing things. I don't know. I'm just I'm not good at it. It's not my thing. But anyway, this is what it looks like. How cute is that? And this is what it looks like in the morning. If you guys are out thrifting or at garage sales. Right there, that's what you're looking for. And again, I don't know if it's the pattern or if it's the brand. If you see it, definitely look it up. The next item that sold is this vintage traditional trading company Valentine sweater. I would be picking that up all day long. I love it, it's so cute. Now, would I wear it? No, but I would sell it. It is pretty cute though. Look at that, you guys. Oh my gosh. I probably would have put some crazy buy it now price on that, but it did sell for $175 free shipping with bids. I think I would have priced that. Higher. That is so cute. The next item is this Monster High Kieran Valentine and Dejini Wisp, Wisp Grant. So they're Monster High dolls. And the reason I'm sharing this one is because as I was looking through comps, uh, solds, I did see more than one of these. So I don't know if it's just like a rare, hard to find item, but these sold for $157.50 in the buyer paid shipping. Um, this next item is a planter. It's made in Japan. You guys know I love made in Japan items. I love to sell made in Japan items. Um, I do have a video, a category bolo video on made in Japan items. Them, so definitely go check that out. But this is a planter. And some of the lady head vases also are a huge bolo um, if you find the right ones. But this is just a Valentine's Day girl dressed as like a queen. And she sold for $153.90. And the buyer paid shipping. And you can see down here on the bottom, made in Japan. Very cool. The next item is this blow mold. It is a Cupid Valentine's Day. They have Christmas nativity decor. Um, I don't know, Valentine's Day. Well, I guess whatever you want to use it for. It's not very big. It, um, it's actually pretty small um, because those are like kitchen floor tiles, I would assume. But this sold for $142.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And I don't even see measurements. So um, guys, it's always a good idea to put measurements and the brand here is Don Featherstone or Feather something. I can't remember what it is. Feather. It's right here. But they should have put that at the very least in the um, item specifics or the description because people will search for that. I would have put it in the title. I probably would have left out um, Christmas nativity. I, I don't know. I'm not saying my way is right, but I definitely would have put that in uh, the title, the brand, because it is a vintage blow mold. The next item is this WDI Disney Valentine's. Uh, I won't say I'm in love. Hercules and Magera hinged pin. So it is a pin, a hinged pin, you guys. This one must be rare because it sold for $157.50 in the buyer page shipping. Next item is this hand-painted needlepoint canvas, Melissa Shirley Valentine basket. So I've talked about the canvas in some of my videos, just the plain plastic canvas. It's just a sheet of canvas that people do the needlepoint and cross stitch or whatever it is, just plain plastic. I've done pretty good with it. Most of it is bread and butter, but you can typically pick it up pretty cheap at, cheap at garage sales and thrift stores. This one, however, is hand-painted and it sold for $147.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I kept seeing over and over and over again during my search. It's a rare Danbury mint, peanuts be my valentine. And I said, I keep seeing it over and over and then it says rare in the title. But it can still be rare. Just a lot of people are selling the ones that are out there. It, it lights up, it's super, this sold for $112.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Jan Shackelford Valentine Baby Anissa 2016 doll. It's 24 inches. I don't know anything about this, but it sold for $99.99. .99. This is what it says. 
Not really sure. Does anybody know anything about this baby? It looks like somebody handmade it, honestly. But it's it's definitely like, I don't know if it's cute or ugly. It's kind of like one of those things. It's it's different. It's definitely different. But I do remember I went in and looked. It had one bid, but the person had 2,859 feedback. So I'm going to say that probably went through. But definitely a different one. If you guys know anything about it, please put, it, put your uh, comment below. The next item is this vintage lot of 60 unused summer antique Valentine's die cut cards from the 1920s and the 1930s. And you can see it looks like there's some honeycomb. That's what this one is called over here that that you, you open them up and it's called honeycomb. Uh, let's see. Some of these look like they are pop-ups. So this is an amazing, very, very cool, very early lot and this went for 103.48 i definitely would have been selling those individually i mean there's a lot of money there these are really really neat so yeah i'm guessing a reseller probably bought that the next item is this fenton glass valentine's one of a kind hand painted by cc hardman dated 2016. how cute is that got the little valentine hearts on it super cute right and you can see so it even says one of a kind that's funny sold for 102 dollars and 50 cents the buyer paid shipping the next item um i saw a couple of these now these are the lennox b mine collection and they're just miniature tiny ornaments and i don't know if they are marked lennox or how you would know but this is what they look like and it sold for $102 with 25 bids in the buyer shipping. The next item are these vintage Lucky Strikes cardboard box Christmas and Valentine advertisement cartons. So these are just the cartons. They're vintage cartons. Kind of cool. Um, for a $104.17 buyer paid shipping. And you can see this one here is kind of like a Valentine's theme. And the last item is another sweater, but this one is a sweater vest, but it's the same uh, brand, traditional trading company. It is vintage. And this one sold for $100. And I think they're pretty cool. So cute. Definitely, definitely would have priced it higher. You've got me hooked, Valentine. Super cute. All right, you guys, what do you think? What do you think about these Valentine's Day bolos? Do you have um, a Valentine's Day bolo that you've sold in the past that you would like to share? Please put it in the comments. There's going to be some videos popping up on either side here. Definitely check out one of my other bolo videos. I have tons of bolo videos. That is what my channel is about. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.